The Parliamentary Justice and Legal Affairs Committee this evening met and deliberated on the suitability of Justice David Maraga for the Chief Justice post and prepared its report ready for tabling in the August House. It had earlier been expected that legislators would ventilate on the report on Tuesday next week, which falls on the deadline for the vetting process. However, JLAC Chair Samuel Chipkonga would move a motion for extension by seven days to allow time to lobby members, despite Justice Maraga's nomination enjoying support from both sides of the political divide. I David Kenani Maraga. Earlier, however, the committee received three petitions challenging Justice Maraga's nomination for the post of Chief Justice. One from Ainamoy residents who took issue with the way he handled the case on the killing of the late Ainamoy MP David Kimutai To and PC Eunice Chipkoni. A second from Akisumu resident arguing he and other judges failed to deliver justice and sought to benefit from private companies. And a third from a Nakuru resident. The judge would be quick to counter these claims. But in their view, they think there was sufficient evidence to sustain a murder case. I acted under provocation, eh? I, which, provo which, which allows me to reduce a charge from murder to manslaughter. I know this is the larger question that has not been asked. Yes. But the accused person and yourself come from the same ethnic group. For me, that is not a consideration. Because if I disqualify myself from hearing cases involving kisses, a judge who is from the, the Kikuyu ethnic community disqualifies him, we can't move. During his interview before the JSC panel, he would be categorical about his faith and that he would never work on Saturdays. The judge now explaining that his strong stand on his faith does not translate into fanaticism. Extreme believers have a problem with women leadership. Are you a liberal or are you a conservative? Where do you start? I know there are some people who are not Christians. I am not going to trump upon their rights because they are not Christians. Now pending the House adoption of the report by the Justice Committee, it would then mean that the country will have its next Chief Justice in office as soon as next week, paving way as well for the swearing in of the IEBC selection panel. Jackie Maribe, Citizen TV, Nairobi.